Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a you versus them reading. So we're going to start out with the person that you're connecting to, whether this is a platonic or a romantic connection, and then we will finish with your energy. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, so we have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Um, honestly, I feel like the person that you're connecting to is honestly very excited about the future. Um, so much so that they may be overwhelmed with something that it is that they're working on, something that they're focusing on. I feel like this could be something that they haven't quite maybe spoken to you about yet, but they're kind of working on telling you exactly what they're thinking of doing. Um, it just kind of seems like this person has something very big and significant happening um, in their future, kind of like a life change, some sort of opportunity has presented itself and I feel like they're very much contemplating and seriously considering um, going in this direction and the fool at the bottom of the deck really represents that in their desire to maybe start something new or go on some sort of journey here so they're very eager very excited but at the same time there's also an energy of I'm not really quite sure how to tell Taurus or I'm not sure how to let them know that I have this in my plans for the future and we also have the three of swords and the moon right behind that fool so this is saying that they're maybe trying to um refrain from doing this because they are anticipating that maybe this won't be good for the both of you I'm not sure it's almost like they're trying to avoid the worst case scenario but at the same time um if they really are considering doing something like this then they have to face the reality of what that might look like so we have the Two of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Tower, and the Page of Swords. So again, the Page of Swords is almost like this person is looking for the right words or the right way to say this. The Tower indicates that this could be very spontaneous or unprecedented and just unexpected in general. Like maybe you and this person um, have spoken about the future, but it's almost like you didn't know that they behind the scenes had this whole plan or this whole idea of what they wanted to do. Um, the Queen of Wands, maybe you're connecting to a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. For the most part, I feel like their intentions are good. I feel like they're simply just trying to do what's best for them as far as their abundance, their prosperity, right? Like they're looking out for themselves in a way, trying to thrive. Um, and the Two of Wands is just speaking to the fact that they still have this planned. They're not necessarily totally executing. They're not, you know, officially going through the motions, but they are planning something. They're thinking about it. Um, but again, they're still trying to figure out how to maybe tell you. Um, so let's see, what is your energy? All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, I feel like this is going to go well. Um, it just really seems like it just needs to happen. Like this person just needs to tell you what they're thinking. And then I think that it's something that you will be on board with. But it's almost like if you have no clue that they're thinking all these, you know, thoughts or having these ideas, then it'll be very difficult for both of you to be on the same page every step of the way of this plan especially if it's something that affects the both of you which it kind of seems like it does because very interesting we have the king of wands knight of cups page of cups and the queen of cups so right now we're already seeing the pair to that queen of wands so for their energy we saw the queen for yours we're seeing the king and so there is kind of saying there's something about the two of you being involved in this or at least being affected by this decision same with the knight of cups and the queen of cups they're on the same page but one of them is slightly more ahead or behind than the other because they don't know exactly um, the same you know details and so i feel like the page of cups is saying this is a really good opportunity to further bond or grow in this connection but in order for the wheel of fortune to turn in order for this expansion to happen um, as we see here with the three of wands right behind that wheel of fortune there needs to be that very clear and descriptive communication about what exactly is happening behind the scenes what is your person thinking and how are you going to you know um not deal with it but how are you going to feel about it how are you going to talk about it with this person um what does it implicate you know or what does it mean for you i feel like you won't um like there's no hmm, how do i say this you're going to benefit from this 
But at the same time, the longer that this goes without you being a part of the plan, I think the, the more complicated it'll be. So um, again, the intentions are good. It's going to lead to a fruitful future for the both of you, but you need to be included if, if this also um, has something to do with you. So let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups. And honestly, you could be in on this, right? Like maybe you know exactly what this is about, but there's something about this situation that is becoming unprecedented that they may have some more information on and they're kind of just waiting for the right time to let you know. Um, so we have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck and I feel like this is maybe the current situation for both of you where it's like things are paused, things are halted because there hasn't been this moment of truth where somebody says, hey, um, just so you know, this is going on, right? It's almost like this is the, the only thing that's left um, in order to then find a solution, right? So let's say there's a roadblock, there's something in the way of this plan that is going to affect the both of you. As long as you know what it is, you can talk about it, you can find a solution. Um, so to further clarify the Knight of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords, the world and the Ace of Cups, which is really interesting because as I'm trying to think through this, I feel like the Knight of Cups being clarified by the Knight of Swords is really confirming that all that's needed is communication. The Knight of Cups has all the right intentions, all the right feelings, right? He's presenting himself emotionally towards something. The Knight of Swords is like, okay, I'm good with the feelings, but what about the actions, right? What about the actions behind the feelings? So somebody here needs to act on this and say, Let's do something about this because our future is on the line, right? Our future depends on this. The Ace of Cups further kind of um, confirms that there's good intentions here. Like there's positive things in the works for both of you. But in order for this journey to keep going or begin officially, there needs to be something to break this pause. There needs to be something to break the silence or at least something to address the elephant in the room. I feel like maybe somebody here is worried about how this information, being that it is unexpected, is going to affect the other person's thoughts about the plan. Like maybe the person you're connecting to hasn't quite told you yet because they don't want you to see this as a huge deterrent and then, you know, the whole thing flops or you, you back out of it, right? They're kind of assuming the worst for some reason. And I feel like all you're asking for is just the, you know, transparency, at least some sort of detail. Um, as to what they're fearing because you're going to work with them but they don't quite know that yet and so i feel like you know once that happens once there is some sort of action then you will see this is actually going to be okay the world is representing the cycle is going to continue right the journey will continue and the ace of cups is saying that really when there's love there's everything right love always wins and so i feel like you and your person just need to get on the same page as to what's going on and then from there you know, the solutions will pretty much fall down the sky, much, much like how it feels like things are falling in the tower card here. So let's go ahead and clarify um, the tower. All right, 10 of pentacles. Again, it, it, it the outcome doesn't change. And that's what I think universe also wants you to realize. The outcome does not change whether there is or isn't this tower moment. This is simply just something we have to deal with right now. But I feel like the person you're connecting to is seeing this tower moment as like the end all be all. Uh, we have the emperor, the three of swords and the two of pentacles. They're kind of basing all of their decisions for this future situation based on this tower moment. And they're kind of like, assuming this control of, over something that's causing them to worry. So it's really about them having the right kind of mindset and also realizing that the decision doesn't have to be based on this tower moment um, and that if the two of you work together, it won't be so difficult, right? It won't be such a battle or such an obstacle. And then the emperor is also kind of saying, your person needs to realize that the two of you are in this together. It's not about having all of the control. It's about being being willing to share it so that there is a mutual effort in finding a solution. So there's really a lot going on here. It's kind of a mixed bag, but the universe is simply trying to reinforce and reassure you, Taurus, um, that the outcome doesn't change. There's going to be something positive, something 
like really good happening here but again right now the root of the problem is everything having to do with the way your person is perceiving this tower moment so i really hope that this was helpful and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one